Hi guys, this is the first tutorial on setting up and writing a program on Astro at Power Project. It's very simple and powerful and professional looking software and once you get the hang of it, it is a good, good tool to use as an alternative to Microsoft Project. Okay, once you've installed the software, double click the icon on the, on the desktop and you'll come to this screen. Okay, from here we're going to go File, New. We're going to use the construction template. We're going to type the file name in the top right hand corner there. For the sake of this, I'm just going to call it tutorial test. If you then just copy that text, and I'll write it in the title there, then you can use a username and password, which is purely for your personal use, so that you can lock it and unlock it as you wish. Okay, once you fill those out, just hit create. This will take you to the basic rawest form of, of the program. Okay, this is where you start inputting your data. So obviously you need a list of tasks, you need to know the durations, how long each task takes, a start date and a finish date. Okay. For the sake of this exercise, I'm going to copy and paste some text in here, but ordinarily you would just go through writing as you would excavate. So you put the title of the task in there, you put the duration, you can put a start date, let's say it's 25th of July, and then you can you, you keep going. You can you can drag these tasks along so and then add a link. So if in order to in order to link two tasks that can't be running at the same time, they have to follow each other. You click the detail end of the first bar and just drag it down to the other. And then you can keep adding, keep adding tasks. So just for a simple So you've got a series of tasks there that we can now drag. And link. Okay, and that's the basics of putting the basic data into the program. Once you've created um, one simple task like that, which is obviously the excavating and casting of a single pile cap, you can select those items and use the summarize button to put them within a heading. Okay, and that forms the basis of putting the data into the program. Obviously with other tasks, you can use more links, there'll be more tasks and the durations will be longer, but that's the basics of putting the data into the program. If I, if I flick to another program now, which is one I've already completed, um, which is slightly more complex, You can see a, a, a complete program all linked together. So this is for a this is for a job in the city centre, which is with a, compromising a capping beam. So these are the capping beam works again, all linked with a little bit of overlap because some of the some of the items are subcontractor. And once once upon the completion of the capping beam, and the props are installed then we can continue the basement excavation. So it's just a continuation of, of a series of tasks built up that go down and down and down. This is this is one similar to the, the example, the worked example I've just undertaken. These are for the pile caps, excavate, crop blind, fix rebar, pecker fill and cast. Okay, and obviously they're repeated over and over. The core is obviously slightly bigger and hence slightly longer duration. And then you can copy and paste like exercises further down the page. Um, some tasks can be overlapped if they're, if they're in different work areas and if you've got different gangs working on them. Okay. Reverting back to the work, work example, if you want to add some notes as you're going, 
I usually ask, usually use this function to add notes on say number of gangs or what plant to use. You can type in there gang one, 14 ton excavator. And those notes will stay on the right hand side all the way down. When using it as a report card, which we'll come to later on, you can also put any any progress notes in there or delays or lack of design information. Um, you can make any notes in this column here. Okay.